Hi, try that again. I was just started my live video and I got disconnected. So hopefully this time will work out. Heather here, welcome back to Create a Lifetime of Happiness. This is video number 13 of my 30 video series where I am sharing with you guys how to create a lifetime of happiness, how to open your mind to living in a positive, loving way. I get asked that question all the time. Hey, Heather, like, what did you do to help you shift your mind to positivity? Like, how are you always able to see the good out of any situation that comes your way? Like, you had a lot of shitty circumstances going on, and you still approached it in such a loving and respectful way. Like, that's so admirable. Like, how do you do that? So I wanted to share with you guys how I did that, and hopefully you'll find it beneficial too. And I start each video off with an inspirational quote. And today the quote is from George Eliot. And it is, it is never too late to be what you might have been. It is never too late to be what you might have been. It's one day or day one. I tell that to my clients all the time. You have the choice to make day one today. You have to take personal responsibility for how you want your life to turn out. Who you want to be, what you want to be doing. You are responsible for that. You are in control of that. You have to take action and make that happen. There is no amount of wishing and wanting and willing it into existence. That is very important. I, mean, I believe in setting positive attentions each day, grounding yourself in that, meditating, praying, doing affirmations so that it stays close to your heart and you can connect to that why and then operate from that place and take action from that place. Because once you take action from that place, you really do open up your world to everything that you want it to be. And you're taking that personal responsibility. You're taking charge and it feels great. So it's never too late. I don't care how old you are, what phase you are in your life. It's never too late to take action and make it what you want it to be. Create the life you want to have. Um, and today's Create a Lifetime of Happiness, I am talking about leaning into resistance. What we resist persists. So we might as well deal with that thing that is pestering us and lean into it. What sort of things do you resist? What things keep popping up in your life that you're seeing recurring over and over again that you're resisting and that you could address? Comment, share with me, let me know. Um, something that I do, or I used to do, <laughs> I'm still working on this, I'm getting stronger every day. Uh, what I used to have a really big problem with is letting people know what I wanted or how I was feeling, or if something bothered me, letting them know that, communicating that to them. I'd always keep how I felt inside. If things bothered me or hurt me, I'd keep that inside. If I wanted something to be done, instead of just asking for it, I would wish that they would magically know and then like feel bummed afterwards that they didn't. And so I did that because I never wanted to rock the boat in my relationships. I just wanted to be accepted. So I thought, by keeping things hidden and not saying anything that I was making sure that I was belonged to the people in my life. But what I found was I was actually creating resentment and I was creating tension and distance in my relationships. And so I do struggle with it at times still like that, Ooh, that fear. Oh my gosh, what are they going to think? But every time I'm able to communicate, Hey, can you do this for me? Or I'd really like to go to the park today instead of going out to restaurants or going shopping. Like I really need this. And just asking for what I'm wanting when I'm, I do this, or if I let them know that they've hurt me, I might not get the result I want, but I feel better for have communicated that. I feel stronger. I feel like I've heard and I'm not alone. So lean into that. What is resistance? Resistance is the refusal to accept or comply with something. Our attempt to prevent something through action or argument. So as with my example, I was resisting communicating my wants. I was resisting communicating when somebody hurt me. 
And I was doing this because I wanted to prevent any tension in my relationships. I didn't want to feel like I didn't belong in my relationships. So I was trying to prevent that by keeping things to myself, right? Did I prevent that from happening by resisting what I was feeling? Absolutely not. <laughs> I created the exact thing I wanted to avoid. Tension and distance in my relationships by keeping things to myself. The more we resist how we feel or what we need, the more it's going to show up. The more resist resentment we build towards ourselves and towards the people in our life. So this leads to feeling alone. This leads to disconnection, a feeling abandoned even. Never really feeling like we're worth anything, worth love, worth time, anything. Always feeling like we're not enough. So when we continue to resist things, we're just adding to that story. Instead of when we lean in, we get to actually step forward and go towards what we're wanting for ourselves and that happiness and peace and acceptance. How do I do this? Like I said, what we resist persists. So you've got to lean into it. So the first thing I'm going to offer you guys and challenge you to do, ask for help every single day. At least one time a day, ask somebody for help. This is hard. <laughs> this was a very hard thing for me to do because I do not like asking for help. I like to be the giver. And so it doesn't have to be some big profound thing. It can simply be, will you take out the trash? Hey, will you help me clean this up? Will you help me figure this problem out I'm having? Like whatever it might be ask somebody for help every single day. We all want to feel like we're needed. People like to feel needed. They want you to ask for help. It makes them feel loved. It makes them feel like they belong. Just like when people ask you for help, you enjoy helping them. So they enjoy helping you. So ask for help once a day. That's what I'm challenging you to do. The second thing is accepting your feelings. So, I imagine this, this is what I did when I was like in some extreme emotional healing a couple of years ago. Um, anytime like those, those feelings of pain or hurt or insecurities or doubt would creep up, instead of like pushing them down and be like, no, I don't have time for you, go away, I would accept them. I would imagine it like, okay, let's throw out the picnic blanket and come sit with me, come Come eat some food, have some tea, drink a beer with me, whatever. Join me. I accept you. I love you. I got you. Let's do this together. So accepting those feelings instead of pushing them away. That's going to help you lean into that resistance instead of resisting it all the way. The third thing, this is a really important one. Whenever you feel the need or desire to pull away or shut down, that is the exact time you need to lean into it instead. So whenever you're in a relationship with your spouse, your partner, your kids, friends, family, coworkers, anytime you're feeling that resistance and you're wanting to pull back, I challenge you to lean in instead. That is the time. Maybe you're feeling like your friend doesn't really value you or something and you're really upset because you don't feel like you're getting enough time with them or that they're not reaching out to you or that the, it's not a reciprocal thing. So in those moments, instead of pulling back and shutting down, lean into that friendship instead. Ask them to spend some time with you. Plan something to do together. Spend that time together. Strengthen that bond instead. Same thing with your loved one, if your spouse or your partner. Anytime you're feeling that resistance of like, oh, I can't deal with this. I don't even want to be around them. I don't want to talk to them. I challenge you to lean into that person instead. Lean in with compassion. Build that intimacy instead. Go ask for a hug. Say, I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm feeling. I can't even talk about it, but I know I need you. I want to work this out together. So let lean into that. Go have sex. It all opens up that loving feeling and intimacy there, that connection there. Even if you're not feeling like it, even if you think it's not going to help, it allows that 
anxious feeling, those resenting feelings to subside so that you both can operate from an open heart. So when you're feeling the resistance to pull, and you wanna pull away and shut down, I challenge you to lean in instead. Thank you guys for joining. That was Leaning Into Resistance, the series of Create a Lifetime of Happiness. If you enjoy the content, please like, share, comment. Um, it is my mission to help people heal those emotional wounds so that they can have healthy relationships once and for all. If that is something you're interested in, please put interested in the comments or feel free to direct message me. I am happy to chat. I will be back tomorrow for following your leader, creating your tribe. You guys have a beautiful day. Thank you.